everybody, it is Liverpool Day. It's Ryan's sister-in-law to be's pen. It's about to be a very interesting week, but those of you who watch the vlogs will know that my sibling, his official name, and um, we don't call him anything else anymore, uh, recently moved to Liverpool. So I'm going up a bit early and I'm going to spend some time up there and getting the train. I have never gone further than like Bista Village on a train before, so this is gonna be interesting. Will I survive the four changes without falling down the gap between the train and the platform with my incredibly heavy suitcase and lots of you will be thinking that's quite a niche fear but it actually just almost happened recently my suitcase was so heavy i went backwards it's gonna be an interesting day so i hope you enjoy coming along with me the train is in an hour and a half so we need to do some express makeup okay my train is at 10 38 oh my god we have time i say this i will make myself late bother putting all of that makeup on for going up to Liverpool and the answer is you have to do a test run before you go away if you're gonna be wearing makeup and like really really needing things and I forgot powder and I would not have known that if I hadn't just done this test run so you guys please ignore all the sounds of the washing machine we are literally standing right above it I unboxed my delivery from our place and look at how snazz this is Ryan is over the moon to have a pan to cook with for his food content that isn't pink. He hasn't made anything in so long because all my pans here are the pink Our Place pans, which I love. We obviously love a pink pot. I was like, oh, stunning, stunning. I think we're probably going to end up with them in a lot of different colours because Ryan was like, oh, the green one would be so nice. Like, just for food content up against here. And I'm like, but green does not go with gray. So that is a food content only pan. I don't know if I'm on board with that. I think we're gonna end up with a lot, but this is my favorite. I have this in the pot and the pan, love it. I also think they do like oven trays now. Let me tell you, my oven trays are disgusting. I think I may have to pick some up, uh, but thank you so much to the Our Place team for sending this. It was so nice and I am, so excited to get using this. You know that you're old when there's nothing like new, fresh kitchenware. This is so cool. It looks so chic. Mm, stunning. Can you tell I'm ready hours early? Yeah. If I'd have realized this earlier, that would have been great because I really need to give myself a pedi because my shoes for the weekend are peep toe. Or I could pack another pair of shoes that are closed toe. No, nah. it's fine. I've packed a couple of like normal polishes and I'm just gonna do it when I'm at my brother's. But I am not taking the entire gel kit up to Liverpool. That's just, the suitcase is bad enough already. It's not happening. Good morning, sweet thing. Do you wanna say hi to your friends? I'm gonna miss you so much. You've got goop, come here. I'm gonna miss you so much, so much. You look very distressed right now. I think she knows the suitcase is out. She knows. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. High five. That was so quick. I've made it to Liverpool. I swear, it is always sunny when I come up here. I feel like it's a lie that the weather is bad. It's never been bad when I've been here. 60 second express house tour, go. Right, here's the kitchen. 
We've got a table and <laughs> hob oven <laughs> fridge. <laughs> Everybody, it's another stunning day in Sussex. Feels like I live in the South Pole. Don't let the fact that my hoodie is off my shoulders fool you. I have turned the car into a furnace. Why is it that I feel like I live in the South Pole when it is basically May? Why the South Pole, you ask? I don't know. Maybe it's the fact that I like penguins. I don't know. Anyway, um, the hi, good morning. I you have a very, very sleepy Susie on your hands today. Um, like I'm not taking these sunglasses off for at least another couple of hours because my eyes are puffy. I think my eyes have been puffy for about a week now since I got back from the Liverpool Hendu, if I'm honest. Honestly, it was fantastic. I loved it. We, there's a really annoying bus behind me and I feel like it's gonna be giving like some low vibrational annoying sounds. So I'm terribly sorry about that the stunning sounds of Sussex. Anyway, to catch you up, life update, the Liverpool Hindu, 10 out of 10. I had such a good time, fully let 2018 Susie out of her uh, little jack in the box that I keep her locked in. And uh, <clears throat> I don't know if that was a mistake because I now seem to be agreeing to a lot of party holidays, uh, which I should probably not be agreeing to because I am meant to be doing a loft conversion this summer just paid the deposit for that another life update uh very excited for that but yeah if i want to actually get that finished and not leave it half done i probably shouldn't be going to ibiza to go to bongo's bingo in ibiza so but yeah anyway the liverpool hindu fantastic loved it but i honestly was so i'm still tired after that i don't think i slept for like two days no i did sleep but like it wasn't Wow, there's a bird attacking my car, oh my god. Yeah, the sleep was minimal. Was not helped by the fact that where we were staying was like next door to a club. But anyway, my point being today I am tired. <laughs> do you want, do you care about all of the reasons why I'm tired? Probably not, but it makes sense to be telling you this. Um, Ryan has gone on the stag do half of the wedding party and he got up, I think at about 1.30 in the morning to go and start picking people up at about 2 a.m. The flight wasn't until like 5.50, so I don't really understand. Something about them having to dress the groom up. I'll leave it there. So, very disrupted sleep. Also, oh my God, my hot water bottle burst on me in the night, so ow also, but I'm really sad because I love my hot water bottle it's been a crucial part of my nighttime routine who knew that you weren't meant to actually put boiling water in it i didn't read the instructions the instructions were on the inside of like the it's little coat why would i take the thing out oh anyway who knew not me apparently this feels like an introduction to my podcast <laughs> anyway ryan is gone he's gone he's left me my car's just been pooed on by a bird <laughs> great <laughs> love today loving life today i had so much to tell you what else do i need to tell you bird that's just pooed on my car is now just like sitting laughing at me opposite me so i now have a lovely few days alone interested to see what i get up to i don't think i've had like five days alone in a very very long time it's gonna be stunning vibes i'm very much looking forward to it but the question is do i binge watch succession without him and then just rewind the day before he gets back so he'll never know he'll never know um have done it quite a few times before uh 
get away with it every time, basically. Um, do I do that? Probably. Because otherwise it's five days of me watching Emily in Paris and I'm not sure how I feel about that. Anyway, I've talked for six minutes. It's actually quite amazing uh, how I managed to say so little and yet talk so much. I feel like there were more life updates, but I can't remember what they are. I've probably got nail stuff to tell you, but I'll talk to you about that when I get home because I've got more stuff to show you. Anyway, if we could all just keep Brian in our thoughts, I mean, he'll be back by the time you watch this, but uh, <laughs> I'm just so like, I'm very nervous for him. I hope he comes back in one piece. If he doesn't, this vlog is gonna seem quite morbid to be honest, but anyway. Ryan, you're in our thoughts. Praying for you. Anyway, let's go to the gym because I think the rest of what I had to tell you was now stuff and I'll just update you later in the vlog. But also thank you so much to all of the lovely comments on my recent videos about it. Love you all so much. Let's go. three weeks but I finally found my lip liner sharpener and I could not be more overjoyed about it ah yes my makeup has been looking so ropey because of this so I've actually just figured out why I'm so tired I was thinking like I am not normally this tired and it probably isn't because Ryan woke me up at like half one in the morning because I feel like I get up to pee in the night all the time like I, I wake up at night a lot that's not an issue. Um, but I've realized I'm due on tomorrow. Makes sense. Um, can I just say, like, I, TMI, I'm so regular, like to the day. It's unreal as someone that really struggled on the pill and suffered with like periods every two weeks. This is, I'm living the dream right now. Like being able to predict it like clockwork it's just sensational and because of that i just know last week of the month don't book things in don't do it so yeah if the vibes are lower in this vlog that is why but hopefully they won't be I have some fun things to share with you because my shopping for spring has continued um i'm having a little bit of a wardrobe reassess uh which some of you might be like when are you not uh, and to that I would say, fair play. When am I not? I get it. I mean, when am I not? You know? Um, where is my lip liner? But doing my course made me realise that life is so much easier when you just have like a series of set looks that you go for. And given the chat that we have had lately about my style and feeling a bit stuck, and yeah, just not really vibing with the current trends right now. And like, I don't really feel like they suit me the most. I have decided to kind of take things back to basics a little bit, but not to basics, but almost, yeah, to basics. That was such a nice lip liner. Play de Poe, no idea what the number is because 202, I'll find it out. It's a long number. Do I go lip balm or I have some new things. Sorry, I was mid, I have new things. Uh, so I might just put some lip balm on for now and we'll come back to those. Yeah, I just wanna have easy set looks that I go to. And weirdly, I had this thought in my head and I was thinking about putting these thoughts into action. I hadn't had a conversation with anyone about this and a video came up for me about how 
one of the best things that you can do for your wardrobe and I know this is like don't think of a blue car and then all you see is blue cars but um this video came up for me about having what was the wording like having a good seven outfits in your wardrobe for each season and then just wearing them on rotation now for me for like work events and stuff that's maybe a bit too few like I don't think I could actually get away with just seven whole outfits in my wardrobe but excluding like events and stuff like that like seven outfits for like work for every day especially if I'm like doing people's nails like I just need to be like comfy slash presentable you know but I don't need to like look snaz like I do for like influencer events and meetings and stuff like that so my thinking is now for each season just have like seven staple kind of go-to looks we'll see how that goes we maybe we'll maybe end up with a bit more especially in summer like I love summer dresses but I basically just want to have some good staple pieces in my wardrobe the shirt I'm wearing today is new and that was one of my purchases and I also have picked up something else I'm saying this but I feel like the things that I've bought are actually now that I think about it way more summery so it's probably not going to be a reflection of what I'm saying but basically this ramble which has just been at the forefront of my mind so it's now spewing out is basically a pre-warning that there is a slight style shift coming but I'm actually really looking forward to it because I just find the less that I try and the more I just go to things that I feel like suit me and just basically the less I try the more of a vibe my outfits are like when I was doing my course I was just throwing on like a white shirt and leggings and boots and whilst well, so I don't want to wear leggings every day that's a lie I would love to wear leggings every day but like I just feel like keeping it simple was very good for me and I looked back at all of those outfits and I was like yeah yeah cool I wasn't trying I didn't care really well I did care but I wasn't like super overthinking it you know trying to be like a fashion girly yeah so that is the vibe now I am retiring sartorially little clay de po concealer going for like natural vibes today stunning this concealer is actually such good coverage i mean i wish it could cover the mustache that needs bleaching but <laughs> not a miracle worker so yeah anyway that was my pre-warning that there is a style switcheroo potentially coming up um and that i have things to show you in this video like this new shirt um but also have a lot of summer dresses because i'm just doing the summer version of a rain dance like trying to bring some sunshine into this country but yeah anyway new summary things aside because of this whilst ryan is away i think i'm gonna have like the best time doing a big kind of rejig of my wardrobe not like getting rid of anything but just structuring myself a little capsule wardrobe maybe trying things on just like getting some good go-to outfits so that when I have to get up at the crack of dawn to go and do nails uh, on like a Sunday morning uh, I don't have to think about what I'm wearing the dream I'm also going to really try over the summer to get uh, to grips with a uh, slightly more of my natural hair texture to see if I can like make my life very easy for myself I mean TBC because my hair annoys me but I'm gonna give it a go set these brows in place I am not happy with my brows at the moment you guys like something is the vibes are off <laughs> the vibes are off I think I need to do some trimming so do excuse me because whilst I am not trying with the style things I would still like to continue with the makeup things. so I have some new things like I said that I want to play with so excited so basically I along with what feels like every other influencer on planet earth uh, was very invested in Sophia Ritchie's 
wedding. So I ended up making a little beauty order. Marketers dream me. I actually have a few more things coming, but they have not arrived yet. I don't even know where to start. So I picked up the nude sticks. What is this called? Matte. Nudies matte all over face bronze colour in the shade Bondi Bay. And I'm looking forward to trying this because as you guys will know, I love a bronzer. Will it beat the Merit one for me? Who knows? I really do love the Merit one, especially if you're putting it just straight onto skin. It is stunning. I honestly don't think anything could ever replace this for me. Like I am obsessed with it. You also get so much product. Like I have been using this since January, guys, and I've still got so much left, so obsessed. Obsessed, we'll link it in the info box if you guys want to pick one up. But anyway, I was watching her TikToks, Like a Hawk, and she used a lot of the Nude Sticks creamy face products. So she used the Bondi Bay bronzing shade. How am I going to get this open? Do not ruin the nails. But she also was using the blushes and obviously we're all celebrating for Alana because she used her baby uh, on I think the night before her wedding. She used Picante which is in here. I struggle with Picante. We're going to give Picante another go because what better occasion. Um, but I'm going to try it in the way that they used it on Sophia because I feel like that might suit me a little bit better. I find orange directly on my skin. Weirdly, I'm quite like olivey and in the summer I'm quite bronzy, but weirdly it doesn't look right if I just stick an orange straight on my skin, but what the makeup artist, uh, who I think her name's Patty, she used the sun kissed shade and then picante. So we're gonna give that a little go. And then in this little pack, I also have a mini of Bondi Bay, which will be great for travel. Um, I also have this pink which looks sensational in bohemian rose i think that will look good on me were you naughty and spice <laughs> cute yeah i think that one will be a really nice summer color on me and then there is also face highlight in the shade hey honey cute which is quite golden so maybe a summer one for me i'm gonna try Bondi Bay and then Sunkist and Picante. And I also picked up a new gloss, which I am loving. I actually used a little bit of this yesterday because I was desperate to try it. And this is in the shade Coconut. And it's just really nice and pretty and pinky. And then I also got a new lip liner. I got the Huda Beauty uh, Honey Beige, which is basically a slightly more orangey version and slightly lighter version of pinky brown, um, which I thought would be nice for the summer. So that is what I picked up so far. I also made a little Space NK order as well. Whoa, these are so pigmented. I haven't used one of these in so long. Yeah, this is a really nice shade. I was looking at this on the website in the full size, which I don't think was available, hence why I got the pack, because it also had Picante as well, and I was like, yeah, goals. But I was like, this would be amazing, like nose, cheeks, little whatever this bit is here who knows i feel like that always really suits me with like bronzier blushy colors makes me look a little bit sun -kissed. after i went on that clay de peau trip i am like so all over applying blush with fingers it just looks so good love 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 that okay great and then so I'm just gonna put that on the cheek and not over the bridge of my, let's call it the bridge. No, that's the bridge, what's this? I'm putting it on the high point of my cheek and not directly across the cheek. But I really like that. It's done. Oh my God, this is making, this color is making me really want like a nude nail with like an orange red tip. That would be cute. And I'm gonna add a little bit of my Tower 28 gloss. When I was watching Sophia's TikTok, she basically said that she was a liner and gloss girl. So cue me, suddenly becoming a liner and gloss girl. Those glosses are so, so nice. And then I'm going to go on with a bit of highlight because I have one that I've been loving recently. I don't know if I mentioned this in the last vlog but this is the victoria beckham 
pearl uh, highlight and I'm so in love with it. It's so nice. It's really, really subtle, like a pinky, like champagne-y colour and it just makes you look really dewy. I'm going to use a little bit of Bondi Bay. So I'm going to go, whoa, I'm going to blend this with uh, a brush. Ooh, okay. Blends really nicely. It's definitely more matte than my Merit Beauty bronzer, which is not necessarily a bad thing. I think there'll be different uses. Little fragrance of the day. I am loving this right now. And this is one of the most like un me fragrances ever. Uh, it's Diptyque Geranium Odorata. Probably butchering that. It smells unreal. If you love like Jo Malone English Pear and Freezer, English Pear and Freezer, you will love this. Mm. It's like floral and fruity, but like a little bit like clean smell it off oh, just i think it might have pear in it i'm not 100 percent sure but it smells a little bit pear-y if that makes sense like that freshness that like apples and pears have um but then obviously very very floral which i don't normally like but it's just stunning my kitchen is a bit of a mess we're going to ignore that um because i want to show you my outfit of the day uh this is one of the new items that I have bought for my little uh, work capsule wardrobe. Uh, it's a shirt from Loewe, it's like a pajama, excuse me? <laughs> it's, sorry? <laughs> what were you saying? <laughs> do you like the shirt or do you not like the shirt? She's like, I've just been outside, give me a T R E A T. Anyway, as I was saying, this is a little Loewe pajama shirt. So I wanted to, I love my white shirts, um, and I have like a lily silk one that I've been that I've been enjoying wearing But I wanted something that felt just slightly more relaxed and I really like this and I just wanted to invest in something that was like a little bit more snazz Encouraging myself to wear the same things on rotation um, and then I've got my Zara These are like skinny trousers. I've had these for ages if you're a long-term viewer your props remember these they have like a stirrup bit on the bottom which I never really get to show because it's way too long for me but it works perfectly tucked into boots. I think this outfit with either these All Saints boots or my Stuart Wiseman black knee high boots, perfect. I'm probably going to wear a variation of this outfit quite a lot going forward but I feel like I'm going to be able to cheat a lot because I have quite a few different like accessories and shoes that I can use to switch it up. With this I have gone for my drop teardrop earrings which I love. Oh my god I didn't get to tell you about what happened in Liverpool with these earrings. I was like jumping up and down on a table uh, as you do at bingo and um well it was a bench technically you want to get technical but um yeah i jumped up and down so much that the back came off of one of these and the earring flung off i managed to obviously find the earring me about seven gins down trying to find the back actually succeeded so i have both earrings i have all the backs i have no idea how i did it one guy was literally about to step on it and i was like could chop good sir move your foot away from the back of my earring we'd all made friends with everyone around us by this point it wasn't that weird so yeah i'm overjoyed that i still have my earrings um and then i've just got a little uh astrid and miu ring which is a new one if you watched the vlog last week and then if i do pop out i'll probably wear this bag because i love it and i just love how it looks with this outfit black and gold for me is just everything oh by the way <laughs> my tomato plant is thriving it has flowers coming in on it, like, ugh. move over Monty Don. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> I need two Labradors first. It will mean nothing to you if you don't watch Garden as well, but anyway. Yeah, this is my little outfit of the day. I'm actually gonna leave my hair like this. I did this just for the makeup application, but I feel like it kind of works. So I came in here for some hand cream uh, and I've got a bit distracted and I thought that I would show you some things that I have picked up. I don't know if anyone's actually gonna find the nail stuff that interesting, but I thought I'd show you anyway. I feel like from the comments though on my video where I talked about training to be a nail technician, 
lots of you might be nail technicians because there were just like a few suggestions that I was like that's an if you know you know kind of thing I don't know maybe not but um, I feel like a few of you might be nail girlies so maybe you will find it interesting or you'll just be like yes I back this I picked up some things from navy which I love navy they are just so cool basically they do the best snazziest nail tools please don't fall out so i probably put this in all wrong but i have a little kit for like all of the cuticle removal and stuff like that and just general nail tools um i don't know the words for things fully yet i'm i'm not fully on the terminology yeah i'm still i was talking to ella who does my nails uh, yesterday and I was like trying to explain something to her I was like I don't know what words to use but yeah so I got that I got the hand balm which I've just used and it is unreal it's kind of I feel like it's a bit sandalwoody is that the smell I don't know if it's gonna say either sandalwoody or cedarwoody like a it kind of smells like a good man's fragrance I just absolutely love it the cuticle oil is I can't speak today the cuticle oil is unreal um I also picked up their little dispenser Ryan's quite funny about being able to smell acetone he really I don't even smell acetone anymore I haven't for years I think since going into like you know the nail shops where it's like five people being done at once you it like burns your nose hairs <laughs> or senses off and you just don't smell things anymore but yeah I picked up one of these so that I can get easy access to my acetone but without uh making my poor boyfriend very very unhappy and what else did i get i feel like i got so much but maybe not but anyway i need to sort my kit out actually this afternoon because i have got a few things on this weekend um but yeah i'm gonna show you whilst i'm sitting here because this was on my desk anyway i'm gonna show you a new addition to my bag collection that i have bought um i feel like there is always a new addition to my bag collection but i think i've just sold about six or seven so i'm very happy that they have found new homes like i really hate when bags just aren't being worn and I'd, i've got to a point now where i'd rather have a really boring bog standard bag collection like i feel when, like whenever i buy a bag i'm never really like ahead with things like the only time i've bought a bag i'm in like quite like one of the first people to jump on it was with the ysl uh Ica bag which i love but generally i don't really like to why is it so bright wow um generally i don't like to jump the gun with bags too much because they're just so expensive to be jumping on trends um so this one isn't like a new bag like it's a more recent bag style but it's not going to be new like you're all going to have seen it before um but i picked this up because i have one nude bag in my bag collection and it was a little balenciaga sporty one some of you might, might remember i loved it i got it in like 2018 um but i was just finding that it wasn't i needed a nude bag but it wasn't really like the one it didn't go with everything so it was a bit too sports luxy so there were some things that i could make it work with but when it came to like weddings i've been really struggling um with needing like i've got a gold bag and the gold generally works and then i've got a green and i love that as well but there are some times like when I'm wearing a pink outfit and I had this at the weekend as well and obviously this bag hadn't arrived yet but when I wear pink I have no bag that really goes with it unless I really want to wear green with it and I don't always sometimes you just need a new bag so with that in mind I have picked up this which feels so light I almost didn't believe that this was gonna be in the box this is another one of those bags that comes in a green and i had to really talk myself down on buying the green i always have to talk myself out of buying green bags and i went for this one because it's just very simple very very simple i feel like you can wear it with like casual outfits you can wear it with dressier outfits i feel like this one can do a multitude of things and just be quite discreet so oh it is a good good color not too pinky but not beige because i hate it when i hate the ysl beige it's not cute oh pretty i just love ysl bag i think they're one of the few brands that just haven't really gone crazy on the price increases like they've still increased their prices but they're just not 
outrageous but they're lovely quality and they look lovely as well but they're not the most expensive but i always still really feel like i've bought a luxury bag if that makes sense i love how they get quite inventive with how they lock the bags but yeah oh, just perfect for like summer weddings everyday wear yeah that's gorge oh my god yeah really happy with that i'm big enough to house the phone a vlogging camera keys lipstick all the essentials yes perfect that's gorgy okay great i still do have a few more bags that i'm selling by the way that are on my depop i think there's like two or three left if you want to go go now i would move fast because otherwise i think i'm going to list them on like a actual reselling website also weirdly the one that people have been literally asking for me to put on sale for years still there the chloe tess still there you can make offers but yeah I, I thought that was kind of weird that people have been asking me to sell her for so long and she's still still sitting around so now i am going to clean out my kit get it ready for the weekend uh do some editing and i'll be back with you later to unbox all of the other spring summer things that i have bought we've got spring summer dresses again the ones that didn't arrive from the last video i'm gonna sort my life out and i'll be back with you shortly in the vlog to do that love you bye Susie coming out of her box earlier was uh, just not not really accurate, was it? But anyway, I am excited to sit down with you today and show you and show you what I bought from uh, various different places. We've got some bits from Zara, Reese, House of CB. There's another dress that still hasn't arrived annoyingly i'm going to take you through all of those in a second but until then i am working on this delightful little floral arrangement not really planning out as i was thinking but i have only just started so we'll see where we get to but this might end up being split into to be honest because i've got quite a lot of stuff I saw a video this morning, literally the first thing I saw when I woke up, which was actually a very nice video to see the second I open Instagram, because it's normally something horrendous. Um, but there is a lovely influencer called Lauren, I will link her, she has a YouTube channel, Gorge, and um, she did like this really pretty floral arrangement and it got me thinking about how I actually haven't done like a turned out rose since... I think before we got put into lockdown, I used to do it a lot and I can't actually remember the last time. No, actually maybe during lockdown, 
I did like a bunch of flowers that had turned out roses and I just absolutely love them. Um, it's also really therapeutic to try and do. I really enjoy it. So I've decided that that is what I am going to have a go at today. Although I feel like these roses maybe need a little bit more time. Sometimes when they're freshly cut, they haven't opened up enough yet and they don't want to turn out, but we'll, it's going okay. It's going okay. But yeah, you literally just, I used to think that roses, when I saw them turned out in like wedding bouquets had to grow like that. And then I saw a florist do it and I was like, wow, I've been well and truly scammed. Uh, I could be doing this at home and paying a lot less. Obviously it takes a lot of time and that's what you pay for. Um, but yeah, I just think they look so stunning. But you do have to be super gentle with them so that you don't rip them. So anyway, I am gonna finish doing this. I could be here a while and then we're gonna finally go through all of the shopping that I have done recently that I just haven't haven't unboxed. It's just been sat in the house annoying both me and Ryan so I'm sure he'll be really happy when he comes back off this stag do and sees that it is actually gone. <laughs> thought I would show you today's very very cash OOTD before we get started. It's a Friday, I don't really want to get dressed but I had to put something on because I didn't really feel like showing up in my dressing gown was appropriate. So we have got this Reformation knit, they, I think they call it a cardigan but it's like in a, it's got a collar which confuses me. Um, but yeah you can wear it open or you can wear it closed, sometimes I wear it like half buttoned up both ways. But today I decided to wear it fully buttoned up and then I've just got a pair of leggings on, my trainers, my Adenola socks. So very, very cash. And then I've got the new little baby, which just works perfectly with this. Like, this is what I was kind of trying to say when I was talking about, like, there are just some things that I have that just would look so much better if I had, like, a neutral beigey bag. And this is one of those fits. And I love uh, colours like this, but I generally just don't find my outfits pop enough when I wear it but actually I think having a little nude bag just finishes it off really really nicely. Are you ready kid? I am going to be putting myself on a shopping ban. I just need to put that out there. I need to say it so that someone can hold me accountable because I I need to stop. I feel like I've done a few hauls recently and I feel like I just need to slow it down a little bit. I just saw some addresses and I just this light is so crappy today uh, um i saw some addresses and i can't resist spring summer dresses i think it's because i want to go on holiday i just want to be on holiday so maybe so maybe i just need to book a holiday and this might stop but anyway i thought i'd show you some of the dresses that i have picked up recently that i'm so excited to wear however this one this might have been a rogue choice i never wear yellow i can't decide if this is a good yellow for me i feel like i need more of a like yellow yellow you know what i mean this is kind of lemony we're gonna try it we're gonna see it's from house of cv i'm not in love with the material however if it looks 10 out of 10 i will make an exception it's fitted on the top half and then it's super long and floaty and yeah i thought it could be great for the bank holiday weekend that i have got coming up next well it's a bank holiday weekend this weekend and then i think it's one next weekend as well so the weekend that you're going to be seeing this uh or the week or the uh, or is this going up on wednesday i can't remember but either way there's a bank holiday coming up and i thought that this could be super cute because i have a garden party to go to um so we're going to try it on however i do have options if that doesn't work out because of course i did not just buy one dress i also basically bought it in white but 
shorter. I think this one could be a winner. I really like House of CD as well because their stuff generally tends to run a little bit shorter and so it tends to be a fairly good fit for me. I also got it, obviously, in black. But yeah, exact same style. So we'll not be keeping all of those. I do not need three of the same dress. I then also got this gorgeous, it's like an ivory kind of color, not like a true white um, dress, which is much more simple. Kind of similar material on the skirt, but not on the top to the yellow one. But this is a little bit more simple in its shape, especially around the chest. And I feel like that could be a good one potentially for me because stuff that is like frilly and cutesy generally just tends to look a little bit too much on me i think things that are a little bit more simple in their structure tend to suit me slightly better so we're gonna see so i'm really regretting my choice of hair today it's just my hair is just not giving when it's straight anymore which is weird because i used to love my hair straight but it's just not really anyway so those are some more summary dresses that I picked up. I also got this one from Reese, which is in an abnormally large box. Could have been a box like a third of the size, but okay. So it's like a waistcoaty, sleeveless, blazery style. I think it's a play suit. What do we think? I also have one that is coming from Sandro, but in black. Um, and I'm gonna see which one I prefer, but the one from Sandra I got from the Outnet, which is my favorite place to buy things from Marj and Sandra at the moment because it's basically half price. But yeah, we'll see which one I prefer. I think this one is gonna be gorgeous for like spring and summer, but the black one I might get more use out of like all year round potentially. I thought this could be cute. So we're gonna give that a go. And then I picked some things up from Zara. Only a couple. This could be a slightly rogue purchase for me but i really wanted a pair of white court heels court heels court shoes just for literally wearing of like blue jeans and a white shirt i'm gonna try it i'm gonna see if it works it's actually surprising to me how often i get dressed at the moment and wish i had a pair of these so i'm intrigued to see how this pans out for me but the thing i was most excited to get from zara is this gorgeous blush kind of movie blushy minky toned jacket this is like this it's kind of a smart bomber style and it's got shoulder pads this could be interesting it could be totally wrong on me um or it could work so we're gonna see but i just loved i love the color and i thought it made a really nice um change to just wearing all black all the time which obviously i love cute see yeah wasn't even planned but the YSL was already doing bits so let's see what they look like I'm kind of a little bit obsessed with these I love this this is like the ultimate spring look for me will they stay white that is a question that I can't answer. However, my argument would be that I'm probably, like if I wear them, it will be at a destination. And if I had to, for example, walk to that destination, I'd probably wear trainers and then change, like as I got there. So my thinking is I'm not gonna be like walking around in these, although they are very comfy. So I say that, but you might see me walking around in them because they're actually incredibly comfortable. Heels not too high as like a girly that can wear a heel. Like I'm fairly comfortable and confident in wearing heels um, and I can wear them throughout the day. The heel height on these is actually lovely for like every day as a heel wearer. If you don't wear heels, you're going to think I'm mad. But when you're five foot two, sometimes you have to be acquainted with a heel and I am now very well adjusted to them sadly. Yeah, I love these. I think this is just such a nice look for when I need to be smarter. This is gorge. I love this so much. I feel like the whole white shirt, blue jeans vision with the white heels has like come together perfectly. So I'm very, very happy with these. I wasn't sure which way this would go, you know, but I actually really love it. Also, can we please take a moment because where did all this ponytail come from? <laughs> I feel like two seconds ago my ponytail was like just about touching my shoulder and 
Yeah. Wow. Anyway, love this. I forgot to say, I got it in an extra small and I'm really happy that I did because I just feel like it would have been really, really big otherwise. I've left the two buttons at the bottom undone because I kind of prefer it like that as opposed to, I think this looks really too done and too boxy. Um, I kind of also like it just with like the top two done up as well. Sorry, by the way, I keep looking in my mirror because I can't actually see what I look like. But I kind of like it with a mix of buttons or just completely undone, but still across the chest. I much prefer that to it being done all the way up. It just gives it a much more square shape when everything, when all the buttons are done up and I don't love that. But with it sat more relaxed, I really love this, especially with just like a pair of skinny trousers on the bottom and then I've got my H2 at Wiseman Boots, which are one of the best purchases that I've ever made. Stand by that. I know we're only six months in, but I just love them so much. And I think going more fitted on the bottom works really nicely, although I have seen people style these jackets up from Zara with much more wide leg, uh, floaty, relaxed trousers, and it also looks really great on them, but I just think for my figure, I wanted to go for something a little bit more streamlined. And again, the bag of dreams doing bits. I mean, it's slightly hard to get the bag on the shoulder here because there's a lot of padding going on, but love it. Okay, this is kind of giving summer business barbie but i don't hate it i actually really like it i think it's just a really nice easy outfit uh for the summertime more than spring i think once i get my hands on the black version of this um that will definitely be more spring because i'll probably wear it with like my stuart wiseman boots but i'm just not seeing this is a little bit too summery like it's a little bit too light it's like a linen-y not linen texture but it looks like it could be linen-y and I just don't feel like those two things, like leather boots and this work together necessarily. Um, so I do think this is more of a summer option. So yeah, I went with the new ballet flats and then I've also gone with the new bag. Um, but you could also go for, I've got these little brown sandals and I think they would be really, really sweet. It gives more Barbie on holiday vibes. Like business Barbie went to the south of France. Plus this little bag oh excuse me and then we've got more of a smarter vacation vibe so i think i get a lot of wear of this in the summer but also as like a little smart holiday outfit if that makes sense i think this is actually going to be really good for when i have meetings in the summer because that is an area where i often get a little bit stuck london meetings when it's hot gets very uncomfortable so um yeah i think this is going to be a really nice go-to for me can't wait for the black one to arrive because i think that is going to be just really perfect for me right now, I say right now, if it wasn't still winter in May. I'm really trying to remind myself that we are in the process of booking a holiday and that there is a point to these dresses because right now with the weather that I am looking at and this order, I'm just like, why have I bought all of this stuff? Like, what is the point? I also have to remind myself that without warning, Mother Nature will just randomly turn the heat up to 100 degrees, but I can't lie, right now this does feel a little bit weird. Not as weird, however, as when I turn to the side in this dress. Like, what is happening? The ruching is just giving me the weirdest boob shape, like the corset and meeting my boobs, which are pretty non-existent now, and not necessarily super full after years of being on the pill and gaining and losing weight. <laughs> Love that for me. Most of this is material. <laughs> Like there's just so much material, but it's making it look like I have like a really long boob. My boob actually finishes like here. So I can't lie, this style of dress uh, might not be the one for me, which is sad because I ordered basically three dresses in this style and I didn't foresee this being such an issue, but feeling a little bit silly, but front on, I think it's stunning. I really like the black as well. So sweet. Yeah, we'll try the rest, we'll see. I'm not even putting shoes on because I'm really not in love with this and I just wanted to show you it before I change out of it. But um, I'm gonna try the yellow one on because it might be that I need this just in a midi length to look good, but yeah, just not loving it. I managed to move the ruching around on this one so that it feels a little bit less weird or maybe my eyes are just getting used to how the side profile looks, I'm not sure. Yeah, just not not in love with this right what do we think i am going to let you guys decide 
decide. I am going to let you guys decide because I'm in such a neggy pms -y headspace right now that I actually just can't. I can't make decisions. It's giving be our guest. It's giving there must be more than this provincial life. I I actually don't know. This is like lemon yellow is an interesting one on me. I it comes up really different on camera as well like I'm not sure if I love it when I see it on camera and um, it looks very like a white yellow. What do we think? Is it cute? Is it too... I don't know sometimes I think I just look a bit too like you know I don't know. Yeah kind of love it kind of not excuse me kind of not sure like part of me loves it and part of me is like no absolutely not um yeah let me know what you think is it giving holiday in Italy is it um, it could not be a holiday in Italy to be fair at the moment is it giving is it giving Barcelona help a girl out here I can't decide. Part of me is like, the more I look at it, the more I like it. Yeah, I'm leaving it up to you. Okay, last one. Like it, don't love it. I might need to review this when I am less pms -y and just in a slightly better mood. Maybe I'm being too harsh because this one does have pockets and I love that. But um, yeah, I'm just not really sure it's, giving me much. I actually think I prefer the yellow. Um, I think I'd probably like this one more if I actually filled it better, like the top half has got absolutely nothing going on in it. Um, and to be clear, I selected the A to C cup in all of these dresses. I haven't got like the wrong size, but this one I would say definitely is looser compared to the others. The others are all like they're corseted in some way so you can adjust them but this one you can't which actually to look at I don't know if you would know and I don't know if that's like super apparent so maybe I'm just being extra picky because I am not in a good mood but with this in mind if you are between sizes I would say you definitely don't need to size down what do we think please let me know because like I said I've given up on trying to decide if I like things but um yeah the Zara picks the shoes and the bomber were a winner for me. They're working really well with my far-fetch items, which I'm so happy about. Uh, but yeah, the House of CB dresses are just like not necessarily hitting the mark for me. Just popping my pinky brown bomber into the wardrobe and I thought I'd show you how it's looking at the moment. I had a little rejig last night and took a few bits out uh, that I don't really wear so much and put them in my other wardrobe and just filled this one with like easy everyday basic shirts and tops and then I have jackets that are perfect for spring and just really easy to throw on, easy to wear. And then I also rejigged my jeans and trousers section and I reordered them so that like different fits are together in different colours as well so that when I'm getting ready I can be super quick. If I know what fit I'm going for on the bottom I know exactly which hanger to like look at and I've decided that for when I need to get up early and get to appointments I'm going to just go for the classic fitted on one part of the body and like looser on the other and I'm just going to stick to that rule to make getting dressed really quick and really easy and things always tend to look like pulled together in that way. Basically just making a lot of rules for myself so that I can get ready quickly. Um, and I've just popped some bags in here as well because I find that I just get so much more wear out of my bags if they're in this wardrobe in here. So I've got all my favourites in this one and obviously my new one as well. And then my go-to shoes are always at the bottom of this wardrobe as well. And I think I've done a good job. I immediately look at this and see like a plethora of outfit combinations which I didn't necessarily before when it was a mix of like everyday but then like video stuff but then like meetings I figured if I just have one style in mind that works for every day but also for work and then adjust the wardrobe accordingly I will be able to get ready so much quicker and I've got a good feeling about this and my next step is going to be to start documenting all of the outfits and keeping like a folder in my phone or something like that or maybe I'll do like a what I wore in a week and just something anything so that I have something to refer back to the outfits on days when I'm having like a complete mind blank anyway now I need to go and do some work and then we are having a real Friday night extravaganza. Can't wait for you to see this one. I'm going wild. Okay, you guys. I am done for the day. I am meant 
mentally checking out. This is my wild night that I have planned. Uh, it's gonna be unreal. I'm gonna get cozy. I'm gonna be a potato. Now, turns out I have quite a lot of vlog footage. So, we're gonna preserve my sanity. That is the aim. And I'm going to vlog this weekend, but put it in the next vlog so that this is a more manageable edit for me. But sadly means I didn't get to have a lot of nail chat with you in this vlog, but I've got a new color. This is Luna by The Jar Bottle. Honestly, it's stunning if you're looking for a shimmery pink. This one is the best. Um, and I'm really excited because this weekend on Sunday, I feel like Sundays are gonna be my nail days, like my go-to dedicated nail day uh, for the foreseeable. But I have a 9 a.m. appointment. I'm doing Ella's nails. So Ella did my nails on, I can't remember what day it was. One day this week. Um, and I am going to do Ella's nails on Sunday morning. And I feel like this is the best person whose nails I could do because she's obviously my nail tech. So I think this is like the best learning experience, like the best way to continue my learning. It's not just like doing one of my friend's nails where they obviously can like feedback and be like, oh yes, it, this lasted really well. This one didn't last so well, whatever. But having someone who is like obviously very skilled at it, um, actually being able to feedback I think is gonna be just so invaluable. So that is my 9 a.m. appointment and then I have an afternoon appointment as well, which I'm really looking forward to. I just can't wait. Like I get itchy during the day now if I'm like not doing something related to that. But sadly, I'm not gonna be able to show you in this vlog because I have waffled for way too long. So me and my pizza, I'm gonna bid you farewell. I feel like I'm getting a lot of bounce back from the Domino's pizza box, wow. I hope you have all enjoyed this vlog and my what could have been an absolute fail of a summer dress haul, but at least the Zara pieces were a success, which I actually kind of wasn't expecting. I'm very happy about that because that's actually the most important thing is like my day to day, what I'm wearing at the moment, because let's face it, I can wear a lot, a lot of my, a lot of my wardrobe is great basics and I can make those work even on hot days in the summer. So actually what I need is the everyday wardrobe, not so much the spring summer dresses, as much as we love them. Did another vase of turned out roses. Stunning. Anyway, need to go. I love you all so much, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Love you, bye. <laughs>